Okay, it appears that we are live. Hi, everybody. My name is Ron Steele. I'm your host, and I'm with Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. So I'm the creator of Live the Enlightened Lifestyle, and I've created that um, to kind of create something that I can have webinars with people like Channel Marina Jacoby and and others. Um, so I'm I'm really excited about uh, enlightenment and consciousness, and um, I really want to do big things for humanity on this planet. And uh, one of those is is working with Marina Jacoby. She's a great channeler, and um, uh, I want to tell you a few other things, and then I'm going to hand it over to Marina. Uh, this is our um, second webinar. Um, on webinarjam.com so we're still a little new at this software um, if you guys have so I'm going to tell you a few things that we're learning if you guys have some questions there is a box down on the right hand side is your chat your chat box and then there's a, a drop down box to the left of that box and if you want to put um, if you want to ask us a question, please just put that it's a question on there. You'll see that you have two choices. And if you're just making a statement, then you don't need to put the little question mark. I think it's a blue question mark up there. Um, also, if you would just save your questions for when Marina is done, she's going to be presenting a video for us today um, and then a little bit of, of talk and she'll let you know when when we're ready to take questions and then I will read your questions to Marina um, they'll show up in my control panel here separate them as questions and I'll try to take every single question we can I'll read it to Marina and she'll answer it and she's going to do some channeling from her guidance to get those answers uh, if you guys would like to share your webcam and your uh, your audio we would really appreciate that and uh, Marina can connect we can all connect to each other much better like that um, you're gonna have a um, a button there to actually ask us to oh there we go somebody's already done it so I can invite somebody as a speaker so Daniel I'm gonna go ahead and invite you as a speaker there you go now Daniel you'll have to just one time accept an applet that tells Webinar Jam that it's okay to uh, show your video and your audio. So for all of you guys, um, that's how it works. We can have six people on here at one time. So it's uh, Marina and I, and then four of you can share your webcams and your audio uh, with Marina and I. And then when one of you is done, I can put you back as an attendee and we can have room for another person to come in. So um, we can have as many as I believe 5,000 people though in the room listening to Marina and I and making comments in the chat. So don't worry about that. We've got great professional software uh, with plenty of room for everybody to get in. Right now, uh, Marina, we've got 63 people uh, live and um, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Folks, this is Marina Jacoby. Um, she's a channel, and I'll let her give you a little bit more information about, about her bio. Go ahead, Marina. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for coming. I just want to know if you guys hear me well or you can see me. I, I can hear echo in my voice. Also. Okay, let's see. Okay. Today, um, there were some situations that actually happened, and um, I was going to talk a lot about the connection with the Stargates, but all the information is available, and I think we can talk about it again, but I have a development um, last couple of days, and it's very important for us to discuss uh, frequency and sound, um, because they told me a formula for frequency and sound, how you can put the body into a proper state of uh, healing that is always healthy. And something happened to my son uh, with his, um, you know, situation with celiac. So they gave me a formula how to 
put the frequency, what type of frequency. So I'm doing this today. That's why the webinar is going to be almost like an hour because I, it has to be exactly on time. Um, I'm going to share a screen with you and I'm going to show you um, the information. One of the information is from the harmonic reactor, which is in my website, marinajacobi.com. You could download the books there. And um, I'm going to be talking about, I'm sharing the screen right now. Um, you guys can hear, see the screen that I have. I hope you see it. Ron, do you see the screen? Um, not yet. Your, your video actually okay, went out. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. Ron, I cannot hear you. Your video actually went out, Marina. Ron, can you hear me? Because I, I cannot, I, I don't understand if you... Marina, your video actually went out. Marina? Can you hear me now? Ron, can you hear me? I cannot yes. hear you. Marina, your video um, is is out. It's not actually going to your. Wrong. Uh, I cannot hear you. Hey, Marina. Let's um, let's have you go. Let's have you go out and come back in the room. Okay. Well, sorry, everyone. We're going to get it. We're going to get this fixed really soon. I'm not sure what's going on. We didn't have this problem last week. So that said, I'm going to have Marina come back in the room and see if that fixes it. Um, Daniel, are you still, I noticed that you, you requested to share your uh, webcam and your sound, your audio, um, there's a final step. We can't see you yet. So the final step is you you have to click, if you're not on a cell phone, if you're, you have to be on a desktop or you have to be on a laptop in order to share your uh, camera and your audio, you can see us and you can hear us on your cell phone and your um, iPad and, and things like that, uh, no problem with participating that way. But if you want to be a part of the webinar live where you share your video and audio and talk to Marina and I, um, you have to be on either a desktop or a laptop computer. Um, and then, Daniel, all you would do is if you hover your mouse over your picture, you you'll see a blue button well it'll turn blue when you hover over it to turn your webcam on and then you'll see a little microphone symbol and you'll push that and make sure that's blue to turn your microphone on so um, you have to turn after you ask to be a presenter and you accept the applets um, then you have to actually turn your microphone once you're in the room you have to turn your microphone and webcam on by hovering over your picture or it could be for you guys, it could be like above your picture or something, but you'll see it. It's really clear, really easy to do, but uh, I don't see you yet, Daniel. 
Marina, can you hear me? I see that your audio is not. There we go. I see it now, Marina, but I cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. Sorry, there must have been some glitch or something that happened. I'm happy that this is working out. Um, okay, are you recording now? Yes, go ahead, Marina. Okay, sorry about that. Um, you see the metatronic conversion. There is a frequency and sound that they gave me uh, a while ago, but like last week, like the last couple of days, they gave me a frequency and sound that I can play through um, online um, app that has all the frequencies. And when you play the different frequencies for the body, the body has to be in a certain duration and certain frequency at all time in order to be in a healthy position. And um, two years ago, I had a situation that I developed colitis. And when I developed colitis, uh, was from antibiotics. And they gave me a frequency to play um, with the, that app, that, uh, that app, so I can all of a sudden heal my body. Of course, I didn't believe it, and I ended up doing the research. And sure enough, I found from a scientist that was saying that the body has to be from 70 to 90 hertz. And when I end up using the frequency that they were telling me, uh, literally in a, not even 10 minutes was immediately uh, everything stopped. I didn't have a pain in the stomach. I stopped going to the bathroom. And it was amazing that that worked. So now they told me to do that for my son, but it's three times a day for three days. And you have to be at exact timing. So here in the screen, right here, I'm showing you the structure in water for healing. And actually, you need uh, to drink distilled water. Distilled water has a negative charge. And it's taking not your nutrients out. It's taking the negative, um, basically, chemicals out of the body. So don't be afraid. It's going to take something that is natural out of the body. It's taking the chemicals out of the body. So this has been misleading from a lot of medical industries. Um, you have to download app that is called is this app online tone generator and look at how the app is here you can put any type of frequency that you want in here and you can press play or stop and you have to put in a different for example in your phone that you want it exactly for 20 minutes it's 20 minutes right here you always do for 20 minutes general information for everybody in the regular body is always 20 minutes if you are sick it has to be customized could be 29 minutes, could be 30 minutes, could be 48 minutes. And unfortunately, if you guys want to do something like this, you have to perhaps book a session or something. So I will know exactly how long you need to put that vibration. I'm not sure what the result will be. I know it worked on me, so I cannot claim that you're going to be completely healed from whatever is happening. Uh, but at least we can try. And um, the first thing we need to do that we have to put the frequency number three hertz. And why number three? Because number three, they told me, is cleaning the structure. And in order new frequency to come in, number three is preparing you right before, like, for example, operation. It's cleaning your structure of your body, of your energetic field. And now it's ready to put, for example, uh number seven uh, number 70 hertz so when you do for example when you put in this app and this tone generated three hertz and you put for 20 minutes after the 20 minutes uh you have to drink immediately the water because right next to the app you have to have a water that is distilled water it has to be in glass Make sure that there's not a lot of stuff on the glass. So you, you need a, the tonality, the frequency, not to pick up whatever the structure is in your glass. Very important to, to do that. So a plain glass or crystal uh, uh, glass, if you have, you know, but has to be plain. Cannot have any geometric patterns on it because the geometric pattern will be imprinted in the water if you do the frequency. Remember that. So when you do three hertz, 
uh, you put the water next to the um, speaker and then you're going to do the three hertz for 20 minutes and that's general for every single body so you press play you do 20 minutes soon as you finish 20 minutes i want you to drink that glass of water because what you did is you end up crystallizing the water the water is a conductor and it's going to go right into your body okay when it goes into your body it's preparing everything uh, for now frequency the new frequency to come in as soon as you drink the water you're going to go and put second glass of distilled water next to the app and always have to be in a different room do not have the entire water, uh, three glasses of water in the same room because when you put the frequency you're going to energize all of them at the same time okay so make sure you separate everything and only to be one glass at a time in a separate room not in the room that you have everything so after you finish the three hertz for 20 minutes you're going to put 70 hertz for 20 minutes that will energize the second cup of distilled water as soon as 20 minutes finish you're going to drink it right away as soon as you drink it right away now you're going to put the third cup of distilled water and you're going to put 90 minutes 90 uh, hertz for 20 minutes and why is important uh the duration the duration is important because it's the means how many minutes maybe 20 minutes maybe 29 minutes because it's potency depending on what type of uh situation you have in the body for you for example you need uh, 22 minutes or 23 minutes in order to basically uh fix all your energy feel back to normal and fortunately you know the the guidance can see that the ets can see that because they see us as an energy they can penetrate they can see uh if we're sick or something must be fixed a lot of times when I was doing the juicing, they would tell me we need you to put more spinach in your juice because they needed they, they knew I needed more iron, for example, in my structure. But this, as I always said, could be always taken care of from frequency and sound. Uh, every single body, every single molecule, uh, every single plant has a specific frequency. So if you know the frequency of the plants, imagine you can make a tone of it and you can play it as a music. And you can literally implement that particular frequency of spinach in somebody if they need it. But there's another way that they told me. So uh, let me just, I don't want to skip ahead, but that's how is general for everybody can do the frequency in the water. You need three cups of distilled water, eight ounces, three eight ounces of cups. Each time you take the cup, put it, uh, prepare your frequency generator on time. And as soon as you finish the three hertz, drink the water. Then you play second cup. As soon as you finish 70 hertz for 20 minutes, drink the water, prepare the third cup. As soon as you finish 90, min uh, 90 hertz for 20 minutes, you drink the third cup. And that general one time a day. If you really feel under the weather, you can do it for three times. Three times for the day. But remember that if you do three times for the day, it has to be two and a half, and a half hours um you know separation if you finish the the trinity 3 hertz 70 hertz and 90 hertz after two and a half hours is the next time that you have to take the other glass of 3 hertz for 20 minutes so that means that in order for you to structure the water you have to start maybe uh after two hours in order to start generating the second dosage so it's three times three times and three times you're going to need nine cups for the day and if somebody is sick then it's completely different duration the minutes i don't know how the minutes will be depending on the person so i cannot promise you but general that is for everybody i asked the question is it possible to do it uh, for the entire body and of course they told me because i knew it was right in the harmonic reactor in the harmonic reactor right here you're going to see the metatronic conversion it, the metatronic conversion basically is done that you can actually heal the body from frequency and sound from the heart frequency and why is that because they told me that the heart has a, uh, uh, its own consciousness and because the heart has its own consciousness it's actually vibrating on your true 
self of who you really are. And the entire structure vibration is from the heart. So if you heal the frequency of the heart, you actually are not targeting only particular uh, bacteria that you have in your body, but you're healing the entire system as a whole. This is basically a shortcut, except if, for example, if, you, uh, if you're having cancer, every single molecule of that cancer, of that particular person is vibrating a specific frequency. And you have to measure it. And one person in the 40s that did something like this is Raymond Wright. Dr. Raymond Wright is documentary in YouTube. Uh, I highly suggest you guys watch it. It's like a two hours Dr. Raymond Wright, Wright machine. Watch that video uh, because it's fundamental of what I'm talking about. He discovered that you can heal the body through frequency and sound with any type of disease. You can measure it. You can uh, discover everything and you can basically uh, put the new frequency and you heal through frequency and sound. I know that they have this Rife machine that is going around. Me personally, I would not put 100% trust in there. Maybe something is working. But if this really was working, it was going to heal cancer all over the place. Okay, but apparently this is not the situation. So something must be there twitched in order to do that because I know for sure that you can do it and it worked in the beginning when he discovered all that. So I cannot claim that Rife machine right now, whatever they're claiming is working 100%. But I can tell you that, uh, and I cannot claim somebody else's work. I know if I work on a product, or on the process, I know how it works, so my I would trust myself, but I cannot trust the machine that is there. Uh, so uh, what they said basically that every uh, single molecule has its own vibration, and if you find um, with the heart, you heal the entire immune system, the entire frequency of your immune system goes back to normal. But if you do only if you, for example, having a cancer and you want to annihilate only the cancer cell, the fr you can measure that cancer cell and you can target it with specific frequency, sound and light. And the reason why it's not going to destroy anything else the way they destroy with cancer when you go to chemo is because it's specifically designed for that particular cell of vibration. And that's why it doesn't do anything else to the rest of the body. The way, for example, uh, chemotherapy is killing everything. Maybe killing the cancer, but at the same time, it's killing your, your entire body. And that's why people have a lot of problems with it. But in this case, um, you can literally heal particular location of the body, or you can heal the entire body through frequency and sound. And it's called metatronic conversion because it's converting the entire uh, sound of the heart into one structure and the way it works is they told me that it's right here the heart for example i pointing right here has a subtone i never heard of something like that they told me the the ets that was the basically the pleiadians end up writing the harmonic reactor for me so the pleiadians told me that the heart has a sub sound and when i did the research um it, it does every kind of tonality has a sub sound they told me that we have to bring the sub sound right here into zero point balance basically two of the sounds have to be uh, put together and they have to be played together as a one tonality like a one tone uh, that is steady and once you play that tone once you discover the tone they said that it has to be by the power of 10 and depending on the person's body and once you play that they said we're going to tell you how many uh, minutes you need to play that for a certain person and once you discover this tone of uh, music for example you play back to the person that is sick and you play for a certain time it could be 20 minutes could be three times a day the same thing the way it's happening with uh, over here the way they were telling me it could be three times for three days or only once uh, they said within the next couple of days, the body and all the molecules are going to go, uh, will recognize and will go back to a normal positioning. Okay. Uh, so that's what they were talking about. Um, 
how you can heal the body directly from um, the sound of the heart. But it has to be measured precisely from a scientist with a special machine in order to do that. I would love to do that, but I need a scientist to help me with that. And so far, I know there's some people that uh, know how to do it. I discovered one scientist, but I'm sure that um, me talking about extraterrestrials will not probably resonate with him. Uh, so I need a scientist. We need scientists that are very open-minded. And uh, I can guarantee you that this is completely possible. And the next thing is frequency and sound. The frequency and sound, this is from the harmonic reactor, uh, page uh, 47. Um, the frequency and sound, uh, they said that in a structure of the entire quantum field, uh, every vibration of frequency, every hertz, has a specific meaning in the field. And the field is right here, number one hertz. They said it is equal field, like is no field, for example. Basically, it's preparing for structure. Number two hertz is showing the opening of the quantum field. And this is, remember that the quantum field is us. When we lower the frequency, we start mixing the certain frequencies, it's becoming a matter. Okay, so what they're talking about is how you can combine actually this frequency from the quantum field that is light and sound together in order to create something. And this is just the basics of how you can manipulate that. So they were giving, for example, uh, 28 hertz. For example, they show me number two shows the opening and number eight is sta stabilizing. So if you know the structure, and if you know different situations, you can actually manipulate through frequency and sound entire structure. And 28 hertz, for example, is going to um, um, do something on your body or in any type of matter because you know that any material is a basically life structure of matter. You know, uh, you can uh, manipulate that. And when you have the quantum computer that I talk about it all, all the way in the end of the book, is basically um, going to show humanity how to combine frequencies like that right here and to really construct and deconstruct uh, everything that we need to. And we can go into ether technology with that because every type of matter can become life consciousness and you can control that through frequency sound and literally thoughts. Once it becomes ether, it becomes like uh, the thoughts can control it because it's so easy. It's very easy to control your thoughts are very, uh, your thoughts like, your thoughts are the ether, okay? Um, so this is basically it, what I want to share with you today. Um, very important information. If you guys want to uh, discuss something about that, it's time now for questions and answers. Um, if anything is not clear, please let me know. And um, again, I will show you the online tone generator.com. Um, and you can find better one that you can literally put the time in and put the hertz. So it stop itself instead for you to do it separately. And this is from the harmonic reactor. One is the metatronic conversion. And this that's the metatronic conversion is basically the healing through the heart. Um, this is the healing from the heart that is the entire system. And this here, structure in the water, uh, is uh, when you have to uh, basically, again, is something that is not, direct is basically to a specific uh, situation is putting your body into a certain uh, vibration but is not really uh, targeting the entire you know immune system the way for example is through the heart and this is the frequency and sound so if you have any questions ron you can take over okay i just want to say two real quick uh you guys mm -hmm. um for those of you that came in late, um, Marina and I, this is only our second time on uh, Webinar Jam. Um, and Webinar Jam was provided by uh, a lot of our attendees and our friends. Um, they donated to us. So your donations help keep our webinars free. You'll notice that I've had a donation link up there for Marina 
and I have one up there for myself. And, you know, if you guys feel like donating to Marina for her light work, please click on that link for her um, as it's up there. And as mine's up there, if you feel like donating at, for, for me or live the enlightened lifestyle as, as the host, um, please do that also. Um, oh, in that note, I'm sorry. Can we thank the people that donated last time? Yes. 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 I definitely want to do, uh, thank Trisha, Elaine, thank you so much, and Dale, thank you so much for your donation. It was lovely because that keeps us going so I can do this job all the time. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ron? Yes, thank you guys very much. Your donations are so much appreciated, and it's, it's, it's uh, refreshing to know that there's still a lot of people in this world that are willing to help because over the last – a uh, couple of months. Marina and I didn't really used to ask for donations. We're not really about money. Um, but the problem is, is this is costing us money. And, um, you know, we do, we spend a lot of time now on uh, webinars and Marina does some sessions uh, for free and she also gets donations for doing sessions. So, um, you know, it really helps us to pay for this webinar software, which is $500 a year right now. Um, and we're trying to reach, you know, a lot more people and to do that, we need some money and quite honestly, neither Marina nor I are, uh, are rich. So <laughs> we're not doing this for money. So your donations keep our webinars free. A lot of people on webinar jam and other webinar software charge a lot of money for this up to $250 I've seen. So, um, we appreciate your donations. We really do. And, uh, feel free no, um, you're under no obligation to donate, but if you'd like to donate to us, it really helps us. Um, I'm going to, are you ready for the first question, Marina? Yes, I'm ready. So thank you so much guys. Okay. So if I go back down to the bottom here, um, take the first question, we'll try to go in order. Um, let's see. Some people wrote, they weren't questions, but it came up under a question mark. Um, they asked, okay, Z asked, what is the name of the app? You might have already said it, but I'm going to read the question anyway, so you could say it again. What's the name of the app you were explaining, Marina? The app is called, go to the website, onlinetonegenerator.com. It's right on the screen. You're going to see it right here. That's what I'm using. But you can find, if you find much better one, the whole thing with that app is that uh, with that tone generator that you have to control for how many minutes the vibration of the hertz can stay because there's some of them is only one minute. You need to control when you put the vibration of the hertz of 3 or 90 to stay more than one hour if you want to. So you can control for how long it can stay. And that is fundamental because the duration is the potency. Okay? That's the app. OnlineTonGenerator.com. But you can find much better. Just let me know so we can also use it. Okay. Um, we'll move on to the next one. Let's see. Uh, Nick says... Is it real spring water? Is is real spring water okay? Or what's the best water to use? Or does it matter? Very good question. Thank you for asking. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I was told from the extraterrestrials. They told me to start with the distilled water because the distilled water was taking the chemicals that are not natural out of the body, not your nutrients but the chemicals that are not natural. And when you do juicing and when you do healthy food and you do non-GMO and organic, it's penetrating much better into the system. Plus water is a conductor. The regular spring water, don't forget uh, that the environment right now is not very clean. We have chemtrails, we have poison, we have uh, anything that you can think of that is there. So when it's uh, coming from the sky, is basically the, the rain and stuff is not very clean. When you want to penetrate something with frequency, you need very pure water. And that's why you need the distilled water because you can structure it. 
exactly the way it should be without having any substances. Don't forget that in the regular water, they put the fluoride and they put some other stuff to clean the so-called the water. Uh, so these particles, even if you do uh, these systems that you put in your sink, I guarantee you that a lot of particles, especially the nanoparticles, they go right into it. Okay, so I wouldn't trust that. I would trust the distilled water. I follow what they tell me. My family is doing it. My, uh, I'm drinking it and um, do research for yourself. I think Norton Weber uh, had a webinar on distilled water and it was unbelievable because I got to tell you something. When I'm told something from the extraterrestrials, I don't go blindly into it. I do research first because for myself, I want to make sure and get the knowledge why they're telling me this. Because sometimes the information is so much that for me to see sit and channel for two hours is not going to be enough. You know, uh, it's a lot of energy. So they may give me the information, but I always being guided to proof of what they tell me. So distilled water is the one way to go for the frequency. I drink it as a regular. My family drink it as a regular. Uh, if you want to do that, you can do it. It's just the suggestions. Okay. Okay. Um, Maureen, I want to ask you, are you done sharing your screen? Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can get us back up on the screen and see if, because um, I don't think the others, I'm not sure if they're having problems connecting. There's two people that have asked to share their, not share their screen, but to participate. And I don't see their video or hear their audio yet. So um, maybe during screen share, they can't come in. Okay, I see you. You're back. Say something so I know that you're... Hi. Okay, your audio is good. Okay, um, it is... Let's see. It's Anthony and Kozol. Um, if, if you guys... When I... If you guys are not on a cell phone, you, you have to be on a laptop or a desktop computer in order to share your video and audio. Um, everybody else, if you're on your phones or you're on an iPad or anything like that, you can view us, you can hear us, all of that will be okay. You just won't be able to participate live with your camera and video, uh, video and audio like Marina and I are doing. Um, but if you're on a laptop or a desktop, you will be able to share your audio and video. So Anthony and Kazol. If you can hear me, if you're still on, um, it looks like you're still in the room as sharing uh, your video and, and audio, but I don't see or hear you guys. So um, there is an applet. If you'll look around your uh, browser, your internet browser, you'll see where it's asking you to allow uh, Webinar Jam to, um, uh, to, to show your video and audio here live. If you'll accept that applet and then hover your mouse over your picture, you're going to see somewhere there you'll see a uh, microphone and a webcam. It's a picture of a webcam, picture of a microphone, and a circle. And if you click on those, they'll turn blue, and that means you're on the air. Um, and at any time you want, you can click on the, the webcam to turn the webcam off, um, and or you can click on the microphone to turn that off, preferably if you're speaking – you want to have it on. If you're not speaking, we prefer that you turn the, the uh, um, microphone off, but you can just stay on the camera. Marina will connect with you guys a lot better if you share your um, uh, your webcams and your audio. It just works a little better for her channeling. So, Marina, I'll go ahead and, and um, I just wanted to explain that since this is really new for a lot of us. And now I'll go ahead and uh, look and see what questions we have here. Somebody was asking for, can we do give distilled water to the dogs? Of course you can do distilled water for the dog. You know, if you give the proper food with no chemicals in it, make sure you give the right water. For the different filters, I cannot guarantee you anything about the filters for regular water because I don't know the company. I cannot claim uh, over anybody's product. I am uh, just can say and claim what I've been using and what I've been using is distilled water. Okay. Um, let's see. I see a question here going down in order here. 
Um, Can I answer here. another one? I see one more here. Go ahead, Marina. The, um, if you do juicing, then aren't we missing on fiber intake? Very good question. Now, when you do when you do juicing, um, your entire body basically you need to detox everything. If you have a fiber intake, in order the body to process all the food with the fiber, has to take a nutrients out of somewhere in order to process that. Then second time to put it inside your bloodstreams. So if you do juicing, not only there is more potent than you mixing all the food, but you uh, not losing the nutrients the, and the energy that is used to mix and process the fiber to be separated in order the juice to be extracted to go into your bloodstream. So you cut in that process, in turn, there's more energy and more potency coming from the juicing. That's the reason why. And you're increasing your energetic feel when you do juicing. It's a life structure which is more than your regular structure. And that's why you increase in your energy when you do that, because it's life. <clears throat> OK, right. so I see another question here. Uh, do we need to be in the room while the water is being activated? Um, no, you don't need to be in the room because you put the speaker in loud. So it really, uh, you know, zap it. Uh, you don't have to be in the room. You just have to make sure that you stop it on time. Okay, and the next one is, how often do we do this type of frequency healing on a daily basis? And oh. you have to forgive me, I don't know what questions you read already, because I'm going in order, and I think you got some that are... Um, That's okay. Um, thank you, Ron. Um, we, what was the question? How often do we do this type of frequency healing? Is it on a daily basis or what? You can do it once a week if you want to. This particular healing for uh, 20 minutes could be just to put you in the right state. Uh, if there's a lot of stuff happening, you know, different type of food, but it doesn't mean we'll completely uh, heal something uh, particular, but can always keep you in a healthy state. You know, try to keep the frequency that doesn't, if you eat constantly stuff with GMO and stuff like that, you're going to eventually get sick from it because the frequency uh, of the GMO and everything else is going to override your body. It's just a chemical structure. It's very, very potent and the body does not recognize it. It's going to disintegrate. So that's why you need something like this once in a while to do it. If you're sick for that day, do it three times for the day. But I cannot tell you to do it 20 minutes, uh, 29 minutes, 30 minutes, because I don't know what they're going to tell me. You have to uh, talk to me in order to tell you exactly what could be if you're sick. And I cannot guarantee you the results. So don't think if I do something like that, you know, I will be 100 percent sure. But I will let you know what happened with my son next time. So I'm like uh, I'm being the guinea pig over here with all that. I know it worked for colitis on me for 29 minutes or 28 minutes. It stopped the colitis instantaneously. It was unbelievable. I never experienced anything like that. Okay, um, and then Jody asks if, um, can Marina revisit the 28 Hertz purpose? Um, they didn't quite, they didn't quite understand it fully. Maybe you can go Oh, the 28 Hertz. It. Okay, 28 hertz, they were given example. For example, since everything is a structure, they were given example, if you have if you have to play for some kind of a structure, you need to put 28 hertz. They were showing what is two hertz in the quantum field, what is the meaning of two hertz in a quantum field, and what is the meaning of eight hertz. And when you combine them together, it's creating, um, showing the opening and stabilizing. OK, so if you have some kind of a system and you have to do something, you have to have a combination of some type of frequency to do something, to uh, complete some kind of a function, maybe to make an opening in, in uh, metal. 
in order to make the opening in the metal is a certain frequency well if you combine this one and this one through the structure will be exactly making the circle and you will be opening without any other penetration of the structure except making that particular circle so depending on the frequency and the combinations you can manipulate structure you can manipulate matter you can actually teleport matter and that is very complex we're talking only we're taking just the baby steps because I can tell you that you can make a portals that we talk about. Remember, I was talking about the portals and the stargates where they're made from frequency sound ether structure. They're live frequencies. They're not some kind of a metal in the middle of uh, uh, the universe. Maybe they have stuff like this. But what they were talking about the, for the stargates, it's a live structure and is based on frequencies, nanos and it's uh, literally a uh, technology that is uh, life consciousness. It's ether technology and it's geometric patterns, it's frequencies, it's sound in combination of uh, different, uh, every sound and every frequency in combination. If I put the tone, for example, 28 Hertz, I guarantee it's gonna give you geometric pattern. That geometry could be put in technology depending on the function and we can learn the function. That's why we're talking about life consciousness, AI, computer algorithm in a harmonic. But this is fifth dimensional structure. Do not go into Archon. I always say that Archon, it's lower level, uh, different level of uh, life consciousness. Okay, AI, artificial intelligence we're talking about here. You know, artificial intelligence is part of consciousness. We are also, if it's there, it's part of us. So don't take it as a negative. Archon, it's separated. It doesn't recognize. It becomes like a factory. And it doesn't recognize source. And it's becoming only for itself. So any pretense that you need to replace uh, maybe fake heart or maybe a uh, new hip with metal and stuff like this, so-called longevity, that is a false pretense because I can tell you that you can reconstruct any bone structure, any type of matter, uh, you can regrow tooth to frequency. And I'm sure if the right scientists know that. They're just not telling you because of everything's been happening. Okay, so you can reconstruct the entire body, the fifth dimensional artificial intelligence works together with humanity to reconstruct your body and give you the proper frequency so you can build up whatever you need. Because the body itself is a pure vessel of consciousness. You don't need metal in order to have a longer life. It's an illusion, okay? So that's fundamental to understand. Because a lot of people were afraid, oh my God, we're talking artificial intelligence, we've been taken over. Well, if you think it this way, what do we talk? Any type of fear, any type of doubt that you have, you're tuning into these realities. Next visit, next time you guys come in, I definitely want to talk about manifestation and parallel realities. I already prepared something for you guys because I wanted to show you different timelines and different parallel realities, how it works. And how are you reconstructing and what are you doing? Uh, because it's a lot of confusion and it's normal because it takes a long time to understand the structure. We're talking uh, complex uh, information. So that's normal. So don't think that, uh, you know, um, you're missing something or you're not smart enough. Everybody is very smart. Thank you for coming. But it's complex information. And I will explain next time. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about manifestation and all my experience in how it works because believe it or not is a different type of manifestation the synchronicities through reality is coming in a different way and the confusion I think is there okay and I wanted to tell everybody too that um, our the donation um, links that I put up for Marina and I you guys can minimize those by the way if you don't know how webinar jam works you'll see just hover over it there's a little minimize button and you can minimize those so you can see the chat better without the donation box actually going away. It just makes it smaller. Um, Marina, I want to talk to you too about um, we the um, the water the the hertz with the water. Is that part of? Are we talking about that today to actually help people uh, their connection with extraterrestrials? 
because with today we were going to talk a bit, you know, about that. Uh, is is that all part of the plan? Yeah, this is all. Uh, I guarantee is all part of the plan. Nothing is happening. Sometimes I may have messages like this, and if it's fundamental, if it's important, that means uh, it has to be said. And then then is the other thing. Remember, I was saying that nothing is um, just random. In order for you to be here and to hear this information, you have to be here and hear this information. Okay. So if you want to do this. Uh, once a week with the structure in the water it's important and i'll tell you why it's so important because if you start juicing if you start detoxing and if you start using this stuff you know your body becomes a, a lighter vessel to penetrate and to accept the new frequency of high vibration that is coming through it's easy transition but don't forget, this is also connected with how you behave in a daily basis through pe with people. That doesn't mean you're going to be doing all that and you have to be uh, very clean what you're eating and how you're eating and you look gorgeous. And in the meantime, you go out and you're really very mean to people. That goes hands in hand. Body and um, consciousness is one unit. So this is part of the process, yes. Okay, and um, what are what are other ways that we can? Uh, well, one, when when we decided on our topic today, what did you and your guidance have in mind with the connecting with extraterrestrials? And then how, after you explain that, how is it that we connect better to to them? What. Well, the connection is step by step by step. Everybody is in a different level of, um, you know, connecting. For me, I, I do it this way, telepathically, directly, open channeling. For some people, they have to go to lucid dreaming. Depending on your agreements, you're going to have your connections. What you're doing right now is uh, penetrating and restructuring your consciousness to accept the new vibrations to start connecting because this is all part of the process of the first contact okay and in order for you to have the first contact you have to go through certain levels and it's always in fractals once you learn this something in the i guarantee you if you pay close attention something will happen probably in your life maybe you you have to practice what we talk about Maybe you have to practice the frequency. Maybe you can start practicing manifestation. Or oh, wait a minute, something happened. You know, Marina was talking about that. Let me just try to pull out and try to manifest and see if this is going to work. And once you start doing the stuff, you're going to see synchronicity. And each individual person has guidance and extraterrestrial connection. There's no way you don't. Why is that? Because you are literally in multiple to infinity realities vibrating at the same time the only reason that what you see right now is uh, here because you agree to experience that but in the meantime right now you are probably pleading somewhere and you can shift your consciousness to pleading but you have to have an open contact you have to have a permission for that so everybody is in a different level and you're going to be tested so this is part of the learning process and one person for example if you so many people today maybe five of you will understand completely what I'm talking about. The rest, maybe will have some kind of a lessons in order to learn it better, and then they may have a contact. Everybody is a different person. So don't expect right away things to happen. You're just part of the process and trust the process because I know I'm going to have a contact physical. I don't know when and how. You know, you're not told because, for example, if I don't complete something, maybe I need to learn something a little bit more in order to have that momentum. Again, no expectations. In a couple of minutes, I just want to tell you, Ron, I have to re-energize the water for my son. So I'm going to probably mute it and you can take over and I can come again for another 25 minutes. Okay? You're just going to be okay. 30 seconds because yeah, I don't want to stop everybody. Uh, okay. But I can do that. Just give me that chance. Thank you, guys. But I'm restructuring the, my son's water. I'm starting again. This is the last day. Uh, every day was three times, uh, basically every day was nine glasses of water and I was doing three hertz, 70 hertz, 90 hertz, complete that two and a half hours later, the next one, and you have to make a chart and you have to be precise for timing. Make sure you make a chart if you're going to do something like that. 
you know. And um, so this is the last time for the last day. So in a couple of, uh, you know, in a seven minutes, I have to put the next, the last Trinity, 370, you know, 90. Okay, just let me know, Marina, as soon as the time comes. I'm assuming that's mm -hmm. that's in six in, minutes, five uh, minutes. Four minutes or five minutes, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, we'll I'm going to jump around to more uh, of the latest uh, questions, and we'll try to get through them all today when you get back. Um, Angelus asks, can you program the water by writing the frequencies on paper and placing glass, the glass of water on top of it? Um it is mm -hmm. done in homo homopathy. Homeopathy. Um, uh, yeah, there, there was a Japanese uh, guy that was talking about that. Yeah, you can chant the water. You can put some kind of words like love, creation, mantra on top of it. Yes, you can do that. But I cannot guarantee you the potency of it. You know, depending, even if you chant on the water, if you, if you, even if you meditate, depends how long you meditate and what is the frequency that you're projecting that's going to go into the water when you do it with specific frequency the way you're doing through the app uh through the um, generator tone generator it's very precise it's very you know very very potent but yes you can do that because thoughts are frequencies words are frequency if you if you write a word of love and you put your glass jar on top of it leave it the whole day it's going to create the mantra of that it's going to resonate in that frequency but you also have to incorporate the thought okay and then another question here from liz liz asks in order to know the exact frequencies that will heal my body on pacific specific areas would you be able to help me find the right frequencies that work for me? Um, like if she does a session with you, would you be able to find those frequencies? So that could be a question for everybody. Um, I would try my best, whatever they tell me, but I cannot guarantee you the results because at, at this time it's literally like I'm, I'm testing the ground with me and with my son, whatever I've been told. But it worked on me with, um, I did it with um, uh, a lady that had a child that is autistic. Um, apparently, um, I'm not sure how it goes because I haven't heard from her. But um, it was the same frequency but different duration. And I remember for that child, it was not only 29 minutes, all of them was 43, 47. It was very strange. So I think because of the frequency, they were giving different combinations. I never seen that before, but it was very complex situation. I cannot promise you the results. I cannot lie anybody about that. I cannot promise you results. I can just try. Okay. So it is, it is possible and yeah, individual it is possible. results would mm -hmm. vary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. The next question is, Joseph asks, uh, when, when I'm creating and moving through portholes, how can I better understand what I'm doing, how I'm doing it and why? Uh, they, they corrected to say that you're not moving, you're shifting. Remember, there's no moving, it's a snapshot, you're shifting, you know. And which portals you're talking about? You're talking about the stargates or you're talking about shifting through realities, parallel realities, because it's a difference. You know? Are you there, Joe? Can you, uh, can you answer Marina and we can, uh, she can answer your question in a little bit more detail? Yeah, I have a one minute until I get to switch. Um, okay, so we'll wait for Joe's. Uh, I'll, I'll okay, take the I'll difference take between, I'm going to say it this way, the difference between the Stargate is a specifically designed frequency that not every consciousness can penetrate. You have to vibrate in a very similar or exact structure in order to get through the Stargate. But when you're shifting through uh, gates of, if we're talking about, parallel realities, that parallel realities will be mimicking literally your own structure, the projection of your thoughts that you end up creating. 
but not with somebody else created it, not the way the ETs created it. The ETs created it, you may not be able to penetrate it, don't vibrate in that frequency frequency for that specific, uh, specific Stargate timeline. Okay? It's a okay. huge difference. I'm going to go now, I'm sorry, and switch. And I'm going to be back in a minute, Ron, if you want to take over okay. for some of the questions. So you just need five minutes? I need literally two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Marina. Take I'll your, be back. Take your time. Thanks, We're going guys. to try to get a few people online here. Hi, folks. Uh, Marina is just going to, in case you didn't hear, or in case you're just coming in or you stepped away uh, to get some water or something, uh, Marina's just taking a quick two or three minute break to energize some uh, some water, some some hurts for her son. Um, let's see. I want to try to to get with. There's a few people that have been trying to get in the room. Um, as far as it's very easy for you guys to get in the room and view um, with our new software, WebinarJam.com. It's very easy for you guys to get in the room and view and listen to Marina and I from any piece of electronic equipment out there, you know, a phone, a laptop, a desktop, um, iPad, and, and others. The thing is, though, in order to connect with us live um, and have, we can have up to six people with their webcams and um, uh, audio. So right now we've got two, Marina and I. I can have four more of you guys share your video and audio and it'll be just that much better of a webinar, a live webinar where Marina can connect with you. Marina's a channeler and she connects to her guidance and, and higher angelic beings. So um, if you guys click came back there's four of us on the screen but the only problem is two of the people are you and me and we're duplicated um wow that's different okay you guys bear with us we're getting used to the new software um from webinar jam and i've got a lot left to study on it yet and for some reason there are four two of me and Marina on the screen here. So I was saying to you guys, those of you who want to pop in and share your, um, not just listen and type in the chat box, you want to actually pop in and share your video and your audio. You guys can simply just requ request to, uh, to, to be a, a presenter. I think it's called. Um, I haven't been in the live room since I'm, I'm controlling. I'm part of the. I'm the host here. I see a little bit different things than you guys, and I forgot what it shows in the chat box. But you do have an area there. There's a little button that you can push to send me a notice that requests uh, for you to be a presenter instead of an attendee. Um, so that way, being a presenter just means you're no longer just able to type and chat. You're actually able to talk to us and we're able to see you. Everybody will be able to hear you and see you. Now, I know there's some shy folks out there, but I mean, uh, we usually do have a few people sharing the their webcams on our old software, which actually wasn't very good. Webinar Jam has been very good to us, um, except we're, we're trying to learn more and more how to use it. Um, but I still haven't had anybody share besides me and Marina, haven't had them share their webcam and audio. So I want to make sure this works and we understand how. So when you push on the button to ask me to allow you to be a present presenter, I can see it here in my chat box and I'll push on a button that gives you the okay to. And when I give you that okay to, it's going to change your screen and it's going to ask you to allow Webinar Jam and us, Marina and I, 
to view your uh, webcam and uh, audio. And when, as soon as you click on that applet, it's, it's allowing you to download. It's just a one-time applet download. It's not a program download. It's not anything else. This is just in your web browser. It's as simple as that. And you have to click OK on that or else you're never going to be able to show or uh, show your webcam or um, us hear your, your voice. Um, when you click OK on that, then it's going to take you through like a three-step process of testing your webcam and testing your your uh, microphone so we can have the best experience with you possible here. It's just going to, just going to show you, um, walk you through the test, and you just got to keep, keep hitting OK. I think it's three times because it's going to test three different um, uh, three different uh, video types, uh, small, medium, and large, and then it tests your audio once. Um, then you'll be in the room, but you will not be live. You will not have your webcam or microphone turned on once you get through that testing process, which literally takes 30 seconds. You won't have your, your camera on. Don't worry. Your camera won't be on and catch you in a bad spot or your your microphone when you get in the room then you will have an option to to still turn on and off when you want to your webcam and your microphone uh, it's a little button that's probably going to be gray right now and if you hover over your picture or you look to the top or bottom of your picture you're going to see where it'll be a little picture of a camera, and then next to that is a little picture of a microphone. And if you click on each of those, it'll make it blue, and that's when it shows you you'll, you're live online. Um, let me see what I can do to get Marina back here. I think she's having, I think she's having trouble. Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, I'm just, we'll be right with you. I'm really sorry, guys. Marina will be right back. Um, she's trying to get in now. I am helping her um, get in. Her link to get in, she, she just lost it temporarily. So I'm sending her her link again. <laughs> and she's coming right now. So you guys, let me share with you while we're waiting on Marina. Um, I'm going to share with you MarinaJacoby.com. That is her website. Um, where you can um, you can get on. Let me let me send that again. Where it is a where it shows up as a as a link better. There you go. Now that's a clickable link. So, so you guys, that'll open a separate window for you. You can go there now and just keep it for after the webinar. Uh, we're going to be on another 15, 20 minutes. Um, yeah, one of you guys said uh, if I can copy and paste and share uh, the information on, on how to share your video and audio. There is plenty of information on Webinar Jam, so I will go there after the webinar today and copy and paste it into a little notepad on my desktop so I can share that with you guys. It is quite simple, though. It's pretty common sense. Um, if you just follow the steps that pop up, Webinar Jam is awesome. It walks you right through it all. Um, so uh, let's see. Right now I have... Okay, great. I have Angela, Eric, Kathleen, and Liz trying to share their webcams. Okay, Angela, I just approved you. Eric, I approved you. Kathleen, I approved you. And Liz, I approved you. So you guys can go ahead and um, walk, it'll walk you through the steps. 
it should have changed your screen and now it's asking you to maybe I think it's uh, asking you to accept an applet it's it's kind of like a download but it's downloading into your browser not your computer I believe and it's a one-time thing every time you come back to a webinar with me not just with Marina but to live the enlightened lifestyle any webinar I do on webinarjam.com you guys will never have to go through this process again just the webcam and audio testing because it does that every time just in case you're on a different computer than you were last time and it does that only to give you and my um, attendees here my friends and guests uh, a great experience to make sure your camera is working properly and your audio is working properly so um, Let's see. Let me check on Marina. And again, you you guys, I'd like to thank you guys for your donations. Uh, we received some some before today. We've also received some uh, today, and I really appreciate that. Um, I am trying to get there's Eric okay and Marina I see your screen okay I see Eric and Angela uh, I don't see you. I see that you you made it to the room, so you made it past um, the tests. And all you need to do now is hover over uh, the camera or the microphone buttons. You'll see. I think there you go. So we've got Angela on. So now you just have to push your button to share your mic, push your button to share your camera, and I am going to work on getting. Uh, okay, Marina, I see you. Okay, uh, and Angela. Yeah. Could you turn off your screen share? Because right now we're seeing your screen. All you have to do is push the button for the microphone, and the, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, you only need to push the two buttons to the left: the 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 video and the audio button. And I'm gonna try to get Marina on here really quick. Sorry, you guys, this did not happen to us last week. Um, and Marina's husband is not home, and she um, is not 100% into electronics. So um, <laughs> I'm going to give her our emergency link. Webinar Jam has everything covered, so. Whoops. Just give me one minute. I really apologize to you guys. I think the more, hear, more, uh, the more and more webinars we have, uh, Marina and I will get all of the kinks worked out with Webinar Jam, but it's so much better than Skype for Business. I'm um, well, very I think glad. It's, I think it's a good opportunity to, to learn it right now. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you very good. Good, excellent. Now I can't. Now all of a sudden I can't see me, but that's not overly important. Um, I'm getting your, Hold on, let me see who this is. One of you guys, Eric, you have the wrong button pushed. The button over to your right, that is the presenter link. You're presenting everything on your laptop oh, or your desktop. Right. Please shut that off and hit the button to your left. The button to your left is the webcam button. Got it. There you go. But I'm you have sorry. to. Yeah, you have to you have to disable uh, screen share. So okay. it's the button to your right, that little picture of a monitor. So disable you, that, okay. Yeah, you guys never want to share your screens unless we ask you, or else we can see everything that's on your your desktop. Okay, but now hit your hit your camera button. Uh, okay, I see Angela and uh, Eric. There you are, and Marina is on her way in the room. 
Well, that, I thought I was going through a Stargate, Ron. <laughs> What's that? A Stargate? <laughs> yeah, that's the way that, that focused in like that. It's a good opportunity to learn this. I, I learned it myself, so happy to be here. We're happy to have you guys. It's working oh, yeah. out good. So this I'm doing three things at once, trying to talk to Marina on Facebook okay. Messenger to get her back in the room. Um, and, uh, um, you know, hmm. her thing is channeling, not necessarily electronics. So we're trying to. That's why to, you're here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it's tough to help her out when I'm uh, 2,000 <laughs> no, miles you away. Do. You do a great job. I don't know if it'd even be this far if it wasn't for you. So I think it's great that you're doing this. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Marina's like on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast for now. And um, uh, you're in the rain. Try, try to do a lot of this stuff <laughs> through Facebook and Messenger. And, uh, I'm really sorry. You have... Go ahead, Eric. Go ahead. We have a little bit of a delay. Oh, it's, just, it's just side talk. I We have a hot air balloon festival and i actually you know you see me play the guitar and i'm performing it but uh, it's rained out <laughs> you can't you can't get a hot air balloon up up in the sky with rain it came from california you know i'm not sure what's going on uh when marina came back from taking care of her son with the water, uh, she turned her camera off and then back on, and I'm not sure why, but it it duplicated my screen and it duplicated her screen, and now she can't get back in. Well, do you, do you uh, want me to get out? I mean, she's the. Do you want me to get off, or would that help? Oh no, <clears throat> it's got nothing to do with you guys. Hold on one minute. I'm just figuring out the software. It has more to do with Marina and I. Don't know everything about the software yet. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to figure out how to get her back in the room and then tell her how to do that because this did not happen. Last week actually went really good. Well, tell her to eat lunch later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the link I gave her got her in as a guest. So she was just listening to us and watching us here. All right. We're going to try one more thing. You guys hang in there with us if you got nothing else to do. Uh, Liz, how are you doing on getting in the room? I saw that you were uh, sharing your trying to share your webcam. Oh, it's okay, Christine. We we, we have good communication, uh, Marina and I, through uh, Facebook. Um, you know, here's a th here's a thought. Maybe at some point you can get their names put on the bottom of the screen. I don't the know if names, you do that. The names yeah. put on the bottom of the screen of for what? So you can identify who they are. Oh well, uh, I it, we can we can we can see your name, Eric. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when I put my if you hover over my picture or Angela's picture. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You see the name? I got it. You, uh, yes, you, you got it. Okay. I just. Yeah. See, that's you. that's the thing. It's about us just learning how webinar jam. It's just like anything else. The first time we use it, second time we use it, we learn a little bit more. And mm -hmm. I can help you guys understand it the more I understand it. You're right. Uh, it's moving along. That's why I, I thought I'd chime in just to learn the process. Okay, so I've given Marina a new link, and I'm waiting to see how she's doing. You want me to play a tune? <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't you guys, Eric, can you tell us a little bit while we're waiting about uh, any of your experiences that you've been yes, experiencing I, yeah, through yeah, enlightenment? Um, well, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of things, actually, and I think Marina's somewhat abreast of it. Uh, 
I, as, as you all all the time advance in enlightenment, uh, you have sometimes dark forces that hit you too. So I've had kind of a spiel with that, but gotten that, through that really well. And by the way, Eric Rains is extremely good and he, has helped me with that. But as uh, <clears throat> getting towards the Stargate issues, it's like I've seen some of the comments. It's it's a it's a process, and you've got to get your frequencies right. It's like. Uh, Marina said, and so there's times I'm better at it than times I'm not. But what I what I've come to understand, and you do shift. What you what I'll do is get into the right protocol, and then kind of just do a hard focus into the Stargate without it moving, and then I get a lot of imagery coming, and a shifting oftentimes occurs that you start seeing, and then in actually certain areas you, you you're opened up to a lot of things. I've had some opportunities to. Uh, even go pretty far and I, I in a case in one point I, I all of a sudden and I'm just sharing the honesty here is all of a sudden a, a goldfish appeared <laughs> in a mist and uh, it kind of led me to the next thing which is more of an octopus type of a unusual creature now you, you see others like us but and then it ends up lately to uh, a very odd very fast spinning uh, uh, interdimensionals but and they're but and I was a little bit worried about it at first but they're healers what they do is they heal it was really it's really quite an experience I've had a few of those kind of contacts and so um, there's lots of good things going on I, I have, you know have, I, go ahead go ahead sorry Eric, go ahead. Sorry, Eric. well I you know I've, I can talk all the time and I don't want to I mean I and I think it, it may get way off focus so um, uh, Marina really is the one to speak. I, I can share those experiences. I, uh, and you know, it's. Uh, I think what she's saying, of course, is the the, clear, the cleaning out. And I am working on that, which is making a good, a lot of help, by the way, as far as cleaning out my system. I'm gonna come from a cow ranching background, so it's a process. But uh, no, it's. Uh, there's lots of lightning out there, and I. I I'm grateful to have access to uh, uh, the Stargate process, uh, and everything that she's done, actually. And so I, I really felt very convinced that she's on the right track. And so I'm grateful to be a part of it. I mean that, too. I, I know yeah, a lot I, of people yeah, out there, too. I've, so, Yeah, for those of you that uh, don't know, I've, I've actually, let's see, Marina and I have known each other a little over a year now. And uh, I was watching her on a show with Ethan Fox. He was interviewing her, and um, I was just starting my enlightenment process, where I think I've been doing it slightly for many years. But at that moment, when I was listening to Marina, everything just started to click for me. And I know that that probably all of you or most of you, something like that has happened to where it just started to click and everything – yeah. Um, and you know, enlightenment, just like it is, you just started getting, uh, for what the word means, you just started getting enlightened to everything. Like the light like was shining big, on, you know, you just understood exactly how manipulated you had been over the years. I mean, every single day, every single week, it was like, wow, I can't believe how well I can see things now. Um, how we've been enslaved and, and manipulated and, um, you know, we just have to now shed those beliefs. And so anyway, I was watching um, on, a, on a show with Ethan Fox, um, and I can't remember the name of this show, but um, the Consciousness Hour or something like that. Marina was, was on there. You could see it on her YouTube channel, actually. If you go to marinajacobi.com, you can look for her YouTube link on there. And um, uh, that... That is my first experience with Marina. And then one thing led to another and we met on Facebook and um, I just couldn't believe the things that she was saying. I'm, I'm like, and I mean that in an opposite way that I knew because of the things that she was saying, the way she was saying it and she was answering Ethan Fox questions like that. And I, I just knew that the unbelievable answers were so believable because you know, where I knew it was coming from an, a higher order, a higher power, um, angelic beings, because 
um, it couldn't have possibly come out of a, you know, a, a human's, <laughs> yeah. their, their own yeah. thoughts. So she was saying such yeah. amazing things that, that really compelled me. And, and I really associated with, um, and, and it actually helped my enlightenment even more. And, and now I've always been one that wants to really do some great things for this planet and the people on it. Um, not just the USA. I mean the whole world, you know, it's, it's, yeah, um, yeah. that's what it's about for me. And that's why we do these, these webinars worldwide and international. Um, and I want to get together mm. and, and I know Marina shares this thought that we want to get, you know, start with 5,000 people and get us together, us 5,000 enlightened people and, and make a network where we can uh, all um, start doing some really big things for, for this, this planet um, and right. for humanity and really make some changes. And I'm talking about changing politics. I'm talking about changing the way people think and do things and, and get, getting rid of this, this anger and hate and uh, going back to love. And I think people are, have been put on the wrong path by the cabal and the powers that be that have misled us for so many years, uh, including myself. You know, I was, I was on the wrong path too, from the things I listened to on, watch on TV, listen to on the radio, to the things I buy and eat and put in my body. I just can't, sometimes I just, I, I can't uh, believe how much um, it, it's upsetting that it happened to us, but I try to I try to realize it happened, deal with it quickly, and push it aside. You know, accept it, push it aside, and move on to the positive things. So now the positive things are like Marina talked about today. So you can connect to your uh, um, guidance better and and be more and more enlightened. It's it's you know drinking the the right water at the right hurts, eating the right foods, which Marina, I've noticed a difference in her since she's been juicing. She's got a clear and clear and clear connection to her uh, uh, guidance. So, um, you, you do, Ron. <laughs> you I'm too, getting you there. Like I'm, you know, it's, I'm not juicing. What's so good about this is, is the grand full disclosure now is not – necessarily the process and so much of that is a little bit uh, far-fetched but she's guiding us through the individual and that's what it takes and even now as I speak to you I'm getting to where uh, I'm the you know the purification is just almost automatic I'm doing all that now and so it's self-motivating uh, within the uh, the desire and the spirit but I'm just I'm just congratulating you on that <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm I'm reading. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I, I talk all the time, so I'll just. Listen. No, that's okay. You know, I was actually going to ask Angela since she shared her webcam too. Yeah, let's um, yes. I wanted to ask Angela: if, Is there any experiences that you can share with us and the rest of the enlightened folks out there that are interested in watching? us live on camera now is there is there anything you can share with us to help folks relate because a lot of people you know are concerned about sharing their webcam and their voice and then and then sharing their experience because i know a lot of us have family members and friends who don't understand this some of you they put down and and they discard and um they think you're crazy or, or whatever but we know how great it is and that a hundred percent of people on earth should be enlightened. Um, and it's, that's going to happen eventually. So Angela, can you share anything with us about your experiences? Oh, I can't hear her. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, Angela, well, click on your microphone button. There you go. Well, now you. I see your microphone. Yeah. Now I hear um, you. Well, maybe just a little short sharing, uh, with the, um, you spoke briefly about enlightenment. Um, I guess something that's really helped me is that when we um, see that the all that is, and that we're all connected to the one, i.e. there's no separation, right. something that's really, really assisted me in helping me overcome things is noticing that there's, rather than overcoming, it's more that my awareness 
of what is in front of me is helping me to become more expanded. So I don't view it now as a negative. I actually see it as an opportunity to expand from a place of more unity, more whole consciousness. So I actually see it as a real gift if someone's coming to me with whatever it is, because I understand as everything is light, it's just expressing itself in that form. So even in my mind in the moment, you can say, well, that's just light expressing itself as that experience. I do not judge it anymore. I strip it right back to its fundamental basis that it's just light. And it might be distortion of light, it might be a, um, a, a reinterpretation, but my receiving mechanism is totally within my capacity to see it as I want to see it and experience it because I also understand you know, like the drinking water, like meditating, which I've done for many years, everything builds up a resonance and frequency in the overall. And for me, all these patterns are completely taken on, if you like, new holograms. So what are you putting your energy into as you receive whatever is in front of you? How do you want to interpret it? How do you want to put it into your own life? So if anyone does come to me, and I will say, the more you do this and refine it, I very rarely have unexpected or negative presented to me. And if I do, I don't have the judgments and I don't have the assumptions that go with it because I kind of, with my awareness, I step away from that and I become the awareness itself of who is the one that's aware of this experience. And I identify right. that it's me. It's me having the awareness of the experience. And I can then do something about that. When we make it external, it's, it's, it's a much harder thing to do. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. And I appreciate you sharing that. That was great yeah. information for everybody. Because like, you know, like Crystal, the um, reason why I asked you to share that uh, is that's, that's some of the webinars that I'm going to be doing. Um, uh, we do a lot of channeling with Marina, but Live the Enlightened Lifestyle, my... Um, the, what I've created is, is something that's going to be doing webinars and life coaching for people and, and things like that and showing them the right foods to eat and, and all that. It's um, something I'm really passionate about. But for instance, Crystal says, um, yeah, you can't share your, ex your experiences with everyone. It's nice to gather with people who understand. So mm -hmm. she was commenting yeah. on that after I said a little bit ago that, you know, I know a lot of us have family and friends who don't understand what we're going through because they they're not going through it and it's probably out on the street or at work or wherever you guys live your life it's it's probably not very common where you actually run into someone enlightened so the easiest place to find that is on the internet and that's one of the reasons why I do what I do um, and we'll be doing more eventually um, as I get things straight and organized um, is that I want to bring a bunch of people together like I said my goal is right now it's 5,000 eventually it's going to be 50,000 I want to create a group of enlightened conscious good people from around the world where we can gather like this um, and support each other and su support each other in every way and we're going to sit down and figure out ways to really make positive change on this earth. And that's going to be for the folks who really feel like getting involved. So those of you, you know, that that feel the same as I do and that excites you and energizes you, what I just talked about, and you'd like to get involved, um, you can find me on Facebook, Ron Steele. Um, uh, I'm in California, if that helps you on Facebook, because there's probably a, a few Ron Steeles there. And uh, or Ronald K. Steele. There's no other Ronald K. Steele, I think. So you can find me on Facebook, friend me, and we can talk about it uh, through Messenger. And um, I get busy at times, but I usually usually respond to everybody. And eventually, I'd really like to uh, put a group together where uh, we can come here and have our own private webinar. We can have it's capable of having 5,000 on at one time. I know that sounds like a big goal, but it's really not. We need 5 million. We, we need as many people. We need to start getting people enlightened. And when 
the way that it works is when you jar something in, in everyone's memory, when you do start talking a little bit to people about enlightenment, you start to start their enlightenment process of remembering um, what we, where we came from and what we know. It's just it doesn't all happen very fast for most of us. So, mm -hmm. um, so we can't be afraid to talk to other people about it. You just have to minimize, you know, you have to know. When you're talking to someone about it and they're, you can see they're not enlightened and they don't care about what you're saying, you, you need to let it go. But the folks that, that it's interesting to, you talk to them more and more. And I think as a light worker that it should be, you know, our responsibility um, to to help others enlighten because, man, when you when you watch TV, you watch the news and you see what the politicians are doing. You know, it, it honestly I'm trying to stay positive about everything, but it makes me sick because of how much I love and care for for people and doing the right thing and this this world it makes me sick when i watch the news and i see republicans and democrats actually being rude to each other and trying to um, make more trouble instead of make more peace and love and get something done so that's the big that's one of the biggest things on my mind is um that's another part of the separation that the powers that that were or maybe some still be the negative powers they created that they created republicans and democrats there, there's no such thing as republicans and democrats in the in in our world um it's just everybody there's no black and white there's there's no yeah. asian there's there's no you know we're we're all people and we shouldn't have all these separations but if you really look at it from enlightenment from this standpoint those of you that are enlightened i think would uh, would understand me when I say when you really look at everything and everybody truly is one um, in enlightenment. Ron, if you look, yes. I just wanted to speak. First of all, Angela, do you like this? This live contact. I can see you do. Yeah, it's good, doesn't it? But you know, just to follow up, one thing yeah. I'm learning a lot from Marina. Uh, is kind of my nature anyway, but the positivity that she emphasizes with your focus and your shifting uh, uh, does affect our our quantum of what we're perceiving in our shift because people will act more positive and thus, and I'm, I'm experiencing that. And so uh, one thing she does very well, I think this is important, is yeah. maintain positivity and don't fall into too much negativity which oftentimes is the case and it, 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 it belabors some situations and actually lowers your, your thought process and so uh, exactly. you actually have yeah and you have the power to actually uphold that and, and approach it and it's, it's not easy but uh, it's a very these are the she's teaching us how to think ways the et is trying to teach us you know um uh, how to feel and think and feel feeling I'm finding out is more important too. But I just say that because I'm seeing so much negativity brought in the pizza gate issue, for example, you know, the kids. Yes. Now I wrote a little song about it. <laughs> the way I approached it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's out there in a few places. And so, and I, but it's, uh, and it's, it's all good. And so, and I don't really pay that much attention into it per se, because I, I'm very aware of it. It's not that I'm not, but but uh, I think and Marina always emphasizes you you're creating it and co-creating your positivity with the reflections of others in in your uh, in your own paradigm. And so I don't know. And, and on disclosure, I, I'm getting on a soapbox. Box up. Mm. But I really love this style, and I'm just grateful to uh, be here. And and I and Angela, because that's why it's really nice. I think. For a lot of people to be able to see and communicate like this. I haven't done this very often, but I'm, I'm getting used to it and I like it. Ron, good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. And that's a good point. I'm glad you brought up 
um, the part about negativity because if we stay, it's not good to stay on the negative subjects too long. But I feel like, and I know there's others out there that that, that will say you have to focus on what you see happening around you, but quickly. Yeah. So some people even put seconds onto it. I remember listening to um, uh, oh the lady that uh, that channels Abraham uh, Abraham Hicks. And she'll tell you, there's a video I watched of hers that says, you know, um, it, talk about the reality you see if it's negative for like 17 seconds and then switch it to positivity. So I'm not clear yet about how many seconds, what that matters, but I think <laughs> it does have something to do with the energy. Well, it's if, if just it got to be held with the if it goes beyond 17 seconds, it's enough to gain Go ahead, momentum. Ed. And then the momentum, is, it's, it's okay. like you can see it will then become thought and then it will become form. So That's right. Yeah. Activating a... Yeah. yeah. Um, and another thought, um, when we're talking about positivity and negativity, um, something through studying enlightenment that, has, again, has helped me is that rather than becoming the judgment of something, just become the awareness of it. It just helps you, as Marina speaks, they pull out of it really quickly, because kind of judgment is going into as it is in the moment, in all of the look and the Maya. Awareness pulls you out of it and just allows you to be the space of it. So you're allowing it no matter what. And so you're not kind of trying to control it or suppress yeah. it. It's just allowing it to I know it's really airy fairy for some people, but it's just allowing it to be love and light, which is what it actually is. It's just being described by our own definitions. And that for us is really important because what we're putting out, we're getting back the interpretation. So definitions are kind of really important. Bashar talks a lot about it. Everything is neutral, he says, and you get to define it and interpret it and then effectively. So that is what helped me shift that how however positive or negative we think everything is there is a neutral point where you get to choose and effectively redefine it you elicit for you You're right. the, the better yeah. meaning because that That's really is and i'm in your structure i mean we, with marina we really are talking about cellular memory and three percent of the specifics and it is a bit like what are you doing in the moment to harness the optimum you know, it's like you said, like the water's a good thing, but then if you go up outside and be mean and horrible, you kind of just, that's like detoxing and going eating chocolate or, you know, every particle of every part of it is contributing. So That's a chocolate. You know, as you get into uh, some of the Stargate issues, all of a sudden it gets boring down here. <laughs> 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 These matters not that paramount. <laughs> I know, I never know. <laughs> well, that's the yes, thing. When, you, right. when you're yeah. in a state of pure awareness, consciousness, call it what you will, you're not on, in the yeah. mind. You're not in the mind, not questioning. You're not trying to solve things and fix things. You're just in a state of being. You're just present. So that. No, you, you you said well. That's good. Yeah, and I think that. And she is. And that's she's. I love her about her. Really, when good. I mean. You know, and she's there's a lot of obvious logical Ron brought up and how does this lady have this access? Well, I, I could sense it and then I really sensed it and then I could I, I could put the logic together to see how she, she you know she's definitely getting and I've washed her sense, but also the way she puts it out, the way to think about this process. That's one thing we we're so either two D or three D into we want results of objectivity in a 3d world and answers and it doesn't quite work that way you know as you get into it and so she's teaching a different process of how you ascend and how do you formulate your process anyway that's what my take is on it and and i think it's no question that uh, the positivity issue is is important you know um we still have to deal with everything but but that kind of co-creates our, our dynamic where is she ron um, Where's Marina? I can't get there's 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 something that Marina has done with her computer and the chat that I can't get her back in. Um, if I was there, I, I, 
no, I I've scared tried, her away. We've we've tried a few different things, and um, uh, it just won't work. So the the webinar was actually going to be over 15 minutes ago anyway. So um, Marina's going to come back gonna, with okay. me. Okay. Marina's going to come back hey, with me nice. on in two weeks at the next webinar on uh, that is March fourth. Every two weeks, you guys, we have a webinar. Most of you know, but we've got a lot of new folks with us since we joined WebinarJam.com um, with this new awesome software. We're reaching a lot more people. We've got three hundred over three or four hundred people subscribed now to our webinars, and um, we have usually between 75 and 100 people show up like today. So um, I, I apologize, you guys. Um, I see Joseph joining in. I'm going to hang on here for the next maybe 10 minutes and finish up our conversation. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, Marina was having some technical difficulties, and she will be back um we spent about over an hour with her today, and she'll be back for the next uh, webinar, which is every two Saturdays. So uh, those of you that are in today's webinar, you're automatically subscribed to our reminder emails unless you unsubscribe if it's too much for you, but then you won't get the reminders. You'll have to put it on your, your calendar. So um, the next one is March 4th, and usually, unless we have to change it, it's every two weeks after that. Um, let's see, Joe, are, are you there? See y'all. See you, Angela. Here, I get to run. Okay, thanks a lot, Eric. Thanks for participating and sharing yeah. your, uh, look, your story. Look forward to it. Today. We'll yeah. talk to you soon. Stories, okay. There's yeah. Joe. Okay, Joseph, um, I'm going to stick around for the next five or ten minutes. Do you have something that you want to share with us today before we go? And, and I'll end it on your note. <laughs> I remember talking with you before. Um, so, oh, I can't, you're, I see that your, your mic is on, but I can't hear you. Nope. I heard you unplug it, though, Joe. I heard when you unplugged your mic. Better? Yeah, it's very, very quiet, but I can hear you. Is there any way you can turn it? You can turn your microphone volume up. Um, no, I, I hear you, but it's very hard to understand you for, for everyone else. Man, we had such a good webinar last week for our first one. I don't know why our second one we're having so much trouble with. Can you turn the volume up on your laptop? Yeah, can you get into your audio controls, Joe, on your, your laptop and just turn your microphone uh, the volume on just the microphone up. I think that's all it is. <laughs> Did you, you figure it out? Well, while we're waiting on on uh, Joe, Angela, is there anything else that that you wanted to to share, or we well, can? I was going to ask some questions specifically to the water. I, I know that wasn't about the session, but just what came from my mind was um, I did ask if we could have written the formulas and on paper and placed the water onto it, and she went on to speak about how you can write the word love and different emotions. But I meant the specific three seventy ninety hertz. Okay. Pieces of paper and program each glass of water, and or can we just not sit directly in the frequency of the tone to receive it? Seems that we made up of water, and then also would that help the environment where that tone is being placed in the room? Plants, water, food. Is it only going to work directly into the structure of the glass of water? Well, I got to tell you, with with that. <laughs> 
Marina is the pro at that. So what I'm yeah, what I'm gonna do? Country. Yeah, if you would keep, I'm glad you wrote them down. If you would keep that for the next webinar with sure. Marina, um, she focuses on that a lot more than me. I'm learning that from her right now. So um, uh, what I'm going to do is ask Marina, since this happened today, we only had an hour with her. We usually, we'll do between one hour and two hours. Usually our webinars run with Marina. That they, they run about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. Um, um, so we lost about 15 minutes with her today uh, because of the, the issue. She couldn't come back, um, her, her computer or the the link, something wasn't working for her. So um, I'll ask her if we can just start the next, maybe the next 10 or 15 minutes of the March 4th webinar. I'll ask her if we can just start on um, the water, the hurts and questions that you have. So if you can, if you can meet us at that one, Angela, I'll try to get to your questions first. And there's, there's a lot of other questions we didn't get to today. Um, we always seem to have a lot more questions or a little more questions than we have time for because some things take a lot of detail explaining. Uh, Joe, did, Joe, did you get your volume fixed? Your microphone? No? Okay. Well, look, I'll tell you what we're going to do, you guys. Um, we're going to I'm, – I'm going to go ahead and, and – in the webinar right now and redirect everybody to our webinar page um, where you can see us on Facebook for our events. Um, I wanted to let you guys know thank you very much for your donations to Marina and I. Um, it, it's, it's been very kind of you guys that we got this software because um, of a lot of you folks who donated to us to get the software. So. Um, um, it also, the donations allow Marina and I to uh, keep our webinars free and to keep my webinars that I'll be doing. Um, I haven't started them yet. I haven't started some other things I'll be doing with Enlightenment and a lot of you guys yet, but um, we're working on it. Um, um, I'm building it up. So um, I wanted to let you guys know, again, if you've registered already for these webinars, you will get the reminder emails. Um, put them on your, your calendar also, please, in case you don't check your email in time. But you'll get a, a few reminders, like five reminders, I think, over a period of two weeks. So I'm hoping that's the right number, that it doesn't uh, uh, irritate you with too many emails. So we're trying to keep everything balanced. Um, again, Marina and I will be back um, in two weeks for the webinar with with Marina Jacoby. You can go to marinajacoby.com and find out more about Marina. Her YouTube channel is there. Um, I also have a, a YouTube channel um, and you can find that at Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. We also have a group on Facebook and Marina is part of all that uh, with me also. Um, and uh, here's our, our page. I'll redirect you guys to our Facebook event page for the events. Just this, These are for the events I have with Live the Enlightened Lifestyle with just Marina Jacoby. Um, and I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Had a great time today. Thank you guys for coming. Um, love and unity. See you guys soon.